Universe. Hey everybody, this is Gabe from Gabe's Green Corner. Let's do a little review of uh, the movie Inception. I just went to see it with my wife at the uh, West End Icon Theater. I definitely recommend the Icon uh, theaters. They are really, really cool. Uh, the one that we went to, you pay like 10 bucks for a regular seat or 15 for a VIP seat, but that gets you the ability to drink in your seat and uh, get get uh, served while you're in your seat a little bit more gourmet appetizers. Anyway, to the film, uh, Inception. I really like the film. When I was talking to a friend that actually works at the theater, she said, it's one of those movies you might need to watch twice to, uh, to really get and uh, I actually, I, I do a lot of films. I took a lot of uh, film review classes when I was at St. Thomas and back in high school, too. And I definitely think it's a, a film that you could watch a lot of times. I mean, the basic gist of the movie is that people go into your dreams uh, after they've, they've kidnapped you, and through their dreams they can steal things from your subconscious. And uh, in the depth of the movie, they go into a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream. So basically within four levels of different dreams where people go into your dreams, and then they fall asleep to their machines in your dream and they each dream they get into a deeper level of your subconscious so they can get into where uh, basically in, in, in the end uh, there's just an abyss of nothingness and that's your deepest level of self self-conscious I really liked the movie. I thought it uh, brought us some interesting places. Uh, the cinematography was really good. I, I liked uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, acting role. I thought he did a really good job in that and uh, the ending was really interesting. They kind of leave it falling as if you really don't know what happened. He has a uh, he has a little top that that spins when he's in his dream state, and uh, supposed it's supposed to fall over if he's not in his dream state. And they kind of cut out the end of the picture. The last thing is you see it spinning, but it sounds as if the top might be getting ready to topple, but it just keeps spinning. So you really highly expect him to be totally out of the dream state and back in the real world, but you really don't know. So one of my questions to all you guys out there: Do you think that in the end of the movie? Leonardo DiCaprio is still in a dream state, or is he still in reality? And uh, what did you think of the movie? Good things, bad things, uh, very interesting uh, ideas brought up with the uh, dream within a dream and just the ability to go into somebody's subconscious and plant an idea that can become that powerful. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.